Okay, so today we'll be looking at the Revel 170 second scale SPZ Marder 183. So we're going to have a look at the box. Um, you got your typical logo on the top, the company logo, it's made by Revel. So of course we have the Revel logo. We have your skill level. This is a skill level four, so an intermediate to um, more harder skill. Um, you got your scale, 170 seconds, so the smallest of the scales provided. It has 161 parts in the kit and it has a length of 9.5 centimeters. This is, of course, the SPZ Marder 183. Uh, it's the German infantry fighting vehicle, uh, still being used today, although it's been replaced by the Puma gradually. So we'll go on to this bit on the side. We have our usual information, once again, more condensed if you put it on a shelf like that, and a nice little photo. Um, on this side, you've got more keep packaging and your general stuff. Uh, once again, just different ways of if you were storing the box, you get all the information you needed. Um, on the back, we have just general photos here, uh, the paints in the Revel colours that you'll need. Um, and just generally loads of writing. Um, but yeah, nice and neat little photos on the box. Um, nothing too special, but of course, the newer Rebel boxes have been getting better and better. So yeah, I think that's a quite a sweet little box. Good picture as well. Nothing that's looking out of place there. Apart from this, that could be improved to make it a little bit more real, but of course, it's box art at the end of the day. Someone has drawn this, as you can see by the signature. So overall, I think that's a pretty decent looking box. The box is a side opener. You just need to cut the tape there and pull that open. And then we have all the good stuff that's gonna come out. We have got some more information here and a bit of the decals and the decals themselves. So let's go into more detail of what we get inside this kit. Putting the box to one side, we can see we have three main components of the kit. We have the sprue and we have the instructions and of course the decals. Okay, so looking at the instructions, we have the all very nice picture of what the model would look like in its main scheme. You got a reminder of who's built it and of course the skill level and the name of said uh, model you're making. This page is of course your general icon, so what you'll need, what they suggest you'll need for a kit. Um, more logos, if you don't understand the logos, always good to uh, double check that they haven't added any new ones that you might not understand. And next page, and the next two pages I should say, is all about paints, about what you should be using for each colour. Uh, colours will be indicated in the camo schemes and the journal instructions later on as well. So going on to the sixth page here, we have all the parts here. Um, always nice to check that you've got everything. Um, and of course, if there aren't any, you can contact the supply. So the first page, we're putting the main bit together. So you've got the drive wheels, the main body of the infantry fighting vehicle. It comes together quite quickly. By page um, nine, we're getting the main IFV shape. Tracks look a little bit interesting. They are the links you've got to put together yourself, um, which is good actually, because it means they're not all one thick band that is a risk of snapping. Moving onwards to page 10, we have just small details. The kit is quite detailed for 170 seconds, which is always nice to see from Revel. Of course, more paints here, the flag showing you what paint you need to be using. Moving on to page 11, we have more of the turrets being done. Uh, this has um, very nice features once again. Uh, pretty impressed with it, to be honest. Moving onwards, we have the Milan missile launcher being built. And by page 12, the, all the um, all the IV has been built. So really it's only condensed into about that thick, so nothing too challenging really. And then the final few pages, we have various camo schemes that, they, that you can use to make this kit out of. Of course the decals are also all provided for all the different schemes. I think we have four schemes you can choose from. We have the one here, this one, this is a different one, and of course, Chili's Desert one. 
Okay, so that concludes the instructions booklet and let's move on to the grey parts. Okay, so the parts come in a rather nice bag, uh, a little crinkly and different plastic to other providers, but that doesn't make much difference. After removing the parts from the bag, we can see we have three main sprues. The first one, of course, has the majority of the tracks on, the uh, underlay and, of course, the main bottom of the hull and some side armour there. Nothing too special, but of course there's no flash on the part, which is always good to see from a Revel kit. Moving on to the next uh, sprue, we have some of the uh, wheels here, more general detail, bits of the turret, and of course more detail. You have more side skirts that go on the edge of it. I don't know if that comes with it, but that can come off. So we could say that was a fourth sprue. And of course, the final one, we have the top of the hull, some storage, that's always nice to see, some tow cables, and of just general detail. We've got the back here and the back door there as well. Overall, neatly done. No flash anywhere that I can see. Um, so yeah, generally, decently moulded by Revel. Okay, so the final thing provided in the kit is the decal schemes. Um, of course, they are small for being on a tank and in the scale. They're all nice and neat, not too thick in my opinion, although we will have to see when we put them on the model. Um, but yeah, they're, they're very neat and tidy. No real issues that I can see that will present themselves, but of course, we'll keep you updated in future build videos. For £13, you really can't go wrong. This is a 170 second scale kit with a fair amount of detail. It's also done by Revel, so should be good. I will of course be keeping updated and showing you how I built the kit and painted it in build videos that will be also posted on the channel, so watch out for them. I hope you got something from this video, and of course, please make sure to like and subscribe if you want to see more of my content and support the channel. So, until then, see you next time.